Oh my gosh. These are the most expensive shoes I have ever purchased in my life. So this right here is the most expensive haul that I have ever purchased in my lifetime of collecting Sailor Moon items. See, I am a girl who grew up on Walmart in buying your purses and your shoes from Payless and sometimes Target if I was feeling really fancy. So this is very new for me. I was not sure what to expect because I am not familiar with any designer brands. I didn't even know who Jimmy Choo was. This is one of the only times that we have seen classic manga art on a collaboration item. Usually you only see anime art on any of the collaborations that are licensed through Toei. But this time we actually got to see manga art. And I believe, this is my theory, I believe the reason why is because Naoko Takeuchi is a big fan of designer brands. And we have seen that influence a lot of her original art from the 1990s and still to this day. We also know that Naoko specifically worked with Jimmy Choo to design some of these products. So this is a very, very special collaboration and something that does not come along very often. That is why I decided to purchase many items in this collection. And uh, I had to sell a lot of pins to afford it, but I'm glad that I did because this is a very, very gorgeous brand. It's a very gorgeous designer brand and very, very beautiful art is on these pieces. So let's go ahead and unbox them. If you're curious about this Jimmy Choo collaboration, hit the links down below. I will link directly to some of the announcements and some of the posts that I had put up on Instagram because I did not collect everything. I got mostly bags, a pair of shoes, and that was about it. So I will start with the smallest box and work my way down to the bottom of this giant pile. And I also have something sitting down on the floor next to me that I'm really excited to show you too. Please don't judge me too harshly if I like unbox these incorrectly or whatever. Ever. I'm not familiar with like the proper way to handle designer products. So please let me know down below if there's anything in particular that you suggest to display these or to make sure that they last as long as possible because everything in this collaboration was very expensive. From some screenshots that I saw with customer service that some other people reached out and from a call that I had made to the LA store, I did find out that a lot of these items, they only had one to six in each market and market means country. So they only had one to two items per store of some of these products. Now, a lot of these smaller products were much more easily accessible, but other ones I had to go to Japan and I had to order some items from the UK in order to get everything that I wanted. But I also wasn't sure if any of my store orders would be sold out or canceled because the inventory was so, so extremely low and hard to find. This was a very in-demand collaboration, which was surprising because <laughs> it was so pricey but it sold out very quickly. I don't think the stores realized how popular this collaboration would be because when I called the LA store, they sounded hectic. They sounded like it was crazy there. It sounded like they were getting a lot of phone calls just from like how many people I heard talking in the background when I was talking to a customer service rep, but they were extremely helpful and their customer service and the experience of just talking to them on the phone and having them help me find some of these items was 10 out of 10. They were just had great customer service. So I guess that's what it's like to work with a designer brand. So everything you see here was purchased by me. I didn't receive anything for free from Jimmy Choo. All of these came out of my own personal collecting budget. So let's go ahead and open this first item. This is a wallet. It's so cute. You'll notice that each of these boxes has some really lovely print on the front of it. It is the Jimmy Choo and Sailor Moon collaboration logo. It is embossed, so you can kind of feel the texture and it is a shiny logo. It's a very pretty logo. I really like it. Some of the items come with little dust bags, like this wallet here does come with a logo branded canvas dust bag. And there are also a few other pieces of information in here. This is a little promo book that came with some of the items. This promo book has an explanation of the collection. Feel free to pause this if you wanna read it, but I'm not going to read through each of these pages. And then each page explains the different Sailor Guardians that the collaboration is based off of. The back of this has some really cool art of each of the Sailor Guardians planetary symbols. 
really cute. Okay, so here we have our first Jimmy Choo collaboration item. This is a little miniature wallet. I believe that this is fake leather, it's not real. Down here at the bottom on the back, we do have the Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon logo. We also have the Jimmy Choo logo on the zipper right there. And then the front has this really nice gradient print from the manga of the inner Sailor Guardians, plus Luna is right down here. Although there is a fade going from front to back, so she's kind of cut off at the bottom. This is the Jimmy Choo emblem. It is made out of metal. I appreciate the fact that it does not cover up Sailor Moon's face on the front of this wallet. There is plenty of room to store all of your cards. We also have this little pouch for coins and plenty of room for your bills. I really like the size of this wallet and I love the colors, the rainbow colors on the front of this. It's really beautiful and the leather is textured. However, the print looks very nice on the front of this wallet as well. Okay, so next we have another smaller item. It does have this outer protective cardboard. And then we have a very similar box to the previous one that shows the Jimmy Choo logo on the front. Let's go ahead and unbox this one. I don't even remember what it is. Ooh. Okay, so this is a miniature card wallet. This is really cool. I love how flat this is and I love how thin it is and the fact that it has still a zipper pouch. Now you can tell this one's brand new. I have not used it yet. Let's go ahead and unbox this and take that off. Now with each of these Jimmy Choo items, it does come with this little card that explains what it is. And there's also a certificate of authenticity for the Jimmy Choo brand. We have another protective canvas bag, a little dust bag with the logo on it. On the back of this, again, plenty of room for your cards. We have the Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon logo right there. This is a little key ring so that you can put keys on here or hang it from a lanyard. And it also has the Jimmy Choo branding right there. On the inside, we have the same kind of pink lining that we saw with the wallet. And we also have a little thank you note for purchasing from the, this Jimmy Choo brand. And this kind of explains how to take care of your products. On the front of here, again, we have that same print. This one is cut off at the bottom so you don't have Luna down at the bottom like you do on the wallet. And let me show you the sizes of these next to each other. So you can tell with this mini card case, it is thinner, so it's not as wide as the wallet. There's no space for cash unless you wanna stick it in here. But this would be really great to just like stick in your pocket or stick in a little handbag, something that you're carrying around that's really small, maybe a clutch. However, this would do really well in a purse. So there's a good use case for either of them, but the print is very, very similar on both of them. So you don't necessarily have to get both. I mean, shoot, you don't gotta get any of these items really. Okay, so that was the card case. Moving on, what do we have next? Okay, so this says wrist bag. I know what this one is, cool. So excited to use this. Oh, so here again, a very, very similar box. On the side, we have the Jimmy Choo logo as well as on the embossed front. This one comes with a drawstring duster bag, so a little bit different but it does still have the logo on the front of it, as you can see here. Now this is a really cute wrist bag. How cute. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so very, very similar print on this one, just like the card case in the wallet. However, the card case or the wallet would not be able to fit in here. It's not big enough for either of those, but this is a wrist bag. So what you can do with this is put this around your wrist. Let's go ahead and test this out. We have the Jimmy Choo logo right here. Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon logo here. Does this come all the way out? Oh, that's nice. It says made in Italy right there. It does come all the way out. So if you wanted to, you could turn this into a separate purse or like stick it on your belt or wherever you want. You could even like hang it on a purse if you wanted to do that for some reason. This has a lot of versatility to it. I like that, that's very cool, but the way it comes is you're supposed to put it on your wrist. So you would tie it on your wrist like this. That's how it would look. I don't know if I like that on my wrist. It feels kind of weird and kind of big and floppy. So I would probably take that off and wear it like a little belt fanny pack or something. Let's check out the print because this is pretty cool. Okay, so we do have a little print of Luna on that zipper pull. That's really cute. On the other side of that, what is that? Ooh, it looks like somebody's glove. 
I think I see a shoulder pad for a glove right there and a bow on the front of a fuku. Wow, talk about like knowing your Sailor Moon outfits. On the edges, we have this really cool print. Oh, look, there's Sailor Moon's brooch. Oh, that's neat. I love that we have her brooch down at the bottom. And then on the side, the gradient continues. There we have Sailor Jupiter. And on the top, we have a larger print where you can see Sailor Mercury and Mars. But of course, on the front, we have a very similar print to what you saw previously. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the first time I'm able to show you this really pretty tissue paper. I know, tissue paper of all things. So here's the inside of this bag. It does have the same pink, like hot pink lining. And then we do have that Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon logo there sewn in. This tissue paper has these beautiful prints of the manga, from, pages from the actual manga. And that was such a fun little surprise when I was opening these items. So I actually have this huge piece of tissue paper in front of me on my top down camera where you can see these pages that were printed into the tissue paper and it just looks so gorgeous and so cool. It's very clear so it's really easy to see and I'm definitely keeping this because I am a ridiculous collector who is not going to throw away this beautiful tissue paper. I don't know. It's pretty. It's cool. I think it's lovely. And it was just a really nice thing to see when I was opening these items. Okay, moving on. We have a slightly bigger box here. Oh, yay. Now I have used this one. I have used this quite a bit. I love this. I brought this with me down to a press event, a Sony press event down in San Diego. Got lots of compliments. Everybody loved it and thought it was adorable. And it's such a great piece. And it's such a great size for just taking it on the go for a little day out or something when you don't really need to carry a lot of stuff. So I'll put the price again down below as well as the name of this product so you know how to search for it if you're looking for one on reseller sites. But this is a really, really cute like shoulder side bag, a very, very cute one. I love that it's pretty large and it's pretty wide. It is big enough to fit a smartphone and I can fit an S23 Ultra. Those phones can fit in here. So I know that it's plenty big for any of your average phones. This comes with a metal strap, which cannot be removed. It is stuck on there, so you can't move it. But I am glad that it switches over to leather where it's going to wrap around your neck or your shoulder. So it's not going to bother you. It's not going to pull your hair or anything since it is this nice leather strap. On the back, we have the Jimmy Choo logo for Sailor Moon, the collaboration logo. On the inside, a little bit of tissue paper, but the same lining, same logo is sewn in. We have some space for cards on the back of here, about four cards. And then we have this great print going all around the edges, which is slightly different from the ones that you saw on the wallets in the card cases. So this one has more of a panel print where each of the Sailor Guardians is in their color for their character. It's the same image, but it's cut so that it looks like manga panels. And then we have Luna sitting right in the center, smack dab right below the Jimmy Choo logo. This is a really, really cute side bag. I love the fact that it fits my phone plus my necessities, and I love that I'm able to take it with me. I'm not the kind of person who will take something that's designer and just like, leave it in my collection room. Like if I'm spending that much money on something, I wanna use it. So I have used this. I've taken it with me on trips and people really seem to like it and I love it. Okay, we have a big box here, <laughs> but I believe this item is one of the least expensive ones that you could get. So weird, bigger item, less expensive. So this is a pretty long rectangle box. We have the same logo on the front again. This one does come with the same kind of canvas duster bag to protect your item. This is really cute. This is leather. I believe it was about 500 USD, maybe a little bit less, but with tax, I think it came out to around 500 USD. So this is a cute little card lanyard, <laughs> card lanyard thing. <laughs> it has space for cards on the back. It also has the Jimmy Choo logo at the bottom that is printed into that leather. This is going to be your how to care for your item and your certificate of authenticity. Even though it looks like it moves, this little piece is sewn on so you can't like tighten the lanyard loop or anything like that. It's just stuck right there. So this Luna card wallet thing is very interesting. 
they did release a purse that had this same kind of art, almost a workout ball looking purse or a cannon looking purse <laughs> that had Luna's head on the front of it. It was kind of strange, but a lot of people loved it. Me, not so much, because I didn't think that that round format for a purse would be um, something that I can necessarily use all the time, but this was cute. And I felt like this was, this made a lot more sense since it does have the space for the cards on the back. On the front, we have Luna's face. This is what Luna looks like like in the manga. If you've never read the manga, she looks really funny. She kind of looks like an alien, but she's super, super cute. She has those big, big eyes that look like they are looking into your soul. I love that everything here is sewn on, so none of it is printed. Each piece is sewn on separately. And it just looks super cute. I don't know if I would ever actually use this or if I should leave this on display, but this is just so fun. I love that she has the whiskers. It's just an adorable little piece. It's an adorable piece of collaboration history for the Sailor Moon Jimmy Choo collab. I was actually a little iffy about purchasing that because I was like, am I gonna use that? And now that I look at it, I'm like, I probably won't use that, but it's cute. And I kind of want to put it on display. Okay, do you want to see the shoes or the big bag? I'm gonna do the big bag because I love this. I love this thing. I love it, love it, love it. I got so lucky when I got this tote. It's a big tote bag. They only had six available in the United States. Six. They had six total for our market. And somehow I got so lucky. I missed the original release online and I just happened to get up to like go to the bathroom or something in the middle of the night. And I checked my phone and I saw that this was in stock for like two seconds and I was like, huh, really? So I clicked and I checked out. I was able to purchase the item and I was like, is that true? And I didn't think much of it. I was like, okay, well that was the one thing that I really, really wanted. So I woke up the next morning, my order went through and it was shipping in just a few days. So it, they shipped out really, really fast. I was very impressed. So this was the one item that I was able to get from the United States release. Everything else you see here, I got from Japan through a proxy or I got through Selfridge in the UK. Uh, which did charge custom fees and that was very expensive. <laughs> but I was able to get the items that I wanted, so I was pretty happy about it. So here we have, I forget what Jimmy Choo calls it. I'll put it down below, but it's some kind of tote, Varian, Varian tote. It's a very large tote, which some people are not gonna be into. This might be too big for some people, but the straps are big enough that you can put it around your shoulders. I've carried it with me. Uh, I took this down to LA on a trip and it fit under the seat when I was on the plane. So I was able to use this as a carry-on and just stick all my, all my stuff in it. It's quite simplistic and it's also fake leather. So I'm not really sure why it is so expensive. This was a very expensive item, but given it's fake leather, that does incline me to use it more because I know how easy it is to clean fake leather. You can just use a magic eraser to clean fake leather. I do it all the time for shoes and I intend to do it for this as well if I get any scuffs on this purse. So here in the front, we have the same print. It is the same print that you saw on the wallet, the card case and the clutch, all those good things. But this time we have Luna blended in with the same color as Sailor Moon. We also see more of Luna on the front of here. So it's really beautiful. We have the Jimmy Choo emblem in metal up at the top again. And we have a couple of bullets here, which are on the outside at the same place where these straps are connected on the inside of it. It's sewn really well. You can kind of see it on my top down camera. There is a loop of string that attaches both sides of these panels, the front and the sides. I didn't notice any issues in terms of like snags or anything with the sewing. It looks like they did a really good high quality job of putting this purse together, even though it is simplistic. Only one side of this bag has the Jimmy Choo logo on it. And then the bottom has four separate bullets. So you can easily store it facing up and have it stand on a desk if you are using this. The inside has a magnetic closure, but no zipper. So that's one thing that I did not like about this. And I would critique about this bag. There's a zipper pouch on the back. So you can store like your more sensitive secure items back there. And there's a couple of little pockets on the front of this for storage of anything else, any necessities. Now, the cool thing about this purse is the back of it. I love the back. This is a print that you don't see on the other items. And I love this print. It's so cute. So this shows 
Usagi in the center. She's not in uniform here. She's Usagi. And then we also have the other girls in their school uniforms, or you have like Sailor Mars in her Shinto shrine outfit. And then you have Amy down here. She's kind of cut off. I feel like she didn't get the best image on the back of this. You also have Luna down here at the bottom. And then you have a mysterious Sailor V. I thought that was so cool. This is such a cool panel. And this is something that I remember reading when I was a little kid. And it was one of those scenes that made me really fall in love with the reading the manga. So I love that they incorporated that into this design. It's just so beautiful. And how each of these characters still has that gradient print of their colors going from you know blue to pink and then red all the way over here for Sailor Mars totally works with each of the characters and I love that it's a rainbow it's just very beautiful so I often find myself when I'm carrying this around I will put the rear facing panel outwards so people can see that just because I love it so much because it's such a cool it's such a cool image and it's it's one of those pieces from the actual manga that is very reminiscent of reading when I was a kid, so I just love it. That's about everything with this tote. Let's move on. Oh yeah, and the tote did come with another one of these pamphlets. The tote came in this very big duster bag that says Jimmy Choo on it, which I'm fully intending to use because as you can see, there's cat hair all over the place in this room. <laughs> so this will definitely help protect my bag, even though I'm still gonna use it because I'm that kind of collector. Okay, I know that you have probably been eyeing this and wondering what the heck is that. I'll get to it, I promise. Last box. I'm so excited about these. I can't wait to wear them. I have not worn them yet. I haven't even unboxed them yet, so I'm very excited. These are the only pair of shoes that I purchased from the Jimmy Choo collab and they were like $800. <laughs> I really wanted these shoes. Of all the things that I wanted to get, it was the tote in these shoes. And then everything else I was like, those are bonus. In this box, we have a pair of white shoelaces that come in their own duster bag because they need their own duster bag if you're buying a designer brand, apparently, I guess. A canvas duster bag just for the shoes. Lovely. We also have more tissue paper. <gasps> oh my gosh. These are the most expensive shoes I have ever purchased in my life. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Wow, I'm speechless. These are beautiful. Okay, I'm so excited. Dude, between these and the Vans collab, like I'm set for life. I don't need any more shoes. I'm good. I have like 40 pairs of Grace Gift and Vans and Sailor Moon shoes from Jimmy Choo. Like, I'm good. These are so pretty, y'all. So pretty. Let me get this box off of the table. <laughs> These right here are the Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon rainbow tennis shoes. Uh, they also had black and white ones too that matched the black and white line of purses that they also released. I'll show you a picture separately. I love the rainbows. The rainbows match my hair. So of course that was like the, the trend that I wanted to get with my purchases from Jimmy Choo. So with each of these shoes, you will notice that the sole is white. The bottom of it is white. However, the sides have this beautiful gradient rainbow going from orange and yellowish at the back. Then we have this blue teal color purple pinkish at the front and clear at the very very front up here and that goes on both sides for both of the shoes the other thing I wanted to point out is that you do have the logo on the inside and you also have the Jimmy Choo logo on the tongue right at the front and that is on both of them as well the other very cool thing that I loved about these and it was one of the reasons why I really like these shoes is this attention to detail they have this really cool chromatic uh, these bullets right here where the laces come out so those have a rainbowy texture and vibe to them. But you also get these gradient rainbow shoelaces with your purchase. And these came with both of the shoes as well. And they are so cool. I love them. Oh, love them. On the inside of, let's see, this is the left foot. We have this image of Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask. I don't remember exactly what scene this is from, so don't quote me. It looks vaguely familiar, so I know I've seen it before. On the front of this, we have uh, Mamoru. Looks like he's kissing Usagi. On the other side, we have Sailor Moon. Of course, she's doing, I think, an attack or an introduction. The print on all sides is also a gradient. So it's a gradient rainbow. What's really cool is the other shoe has a separate, completely different art print. I wonder what's on the tongue. Oh, I see 
Sailor V on there. It's a very shadowy print. It's like her silhouette, but there is a Sailor V on there. And on this one, what's on the tongue on this one? I see little pops of Luna. <laughs> How cute. There's a Luna right there and a Luna down there. That's adorable. On the inside of this one, we have Sailor Moon looking very romantic. On the front, we have Usagi right here. Very soft, very romantic. Love the vibes. And on the outer side for this shoe, for the right side, we have Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon looking totally awesome and strong. I love this print. I love the fact that they took this print from the manga and they added this beautiful gradient coloring and they put it on all sides and gave it a really, really beautiful theme. So these are great. They look really lo lovely. They are very comfortable. So I did order my normal size and I feel like it fits perfectly. They are a slight platform as well, which was a bit surprising to me, but this entire heel that you can see here, this entire sole on the front of it, it gives you about one inch of height all the way around. Now the sole on the inside does not give very much. So I wouldn't say it's as comfortable as the Vans shoes, but it's very sturdy. It feels like it's built very well and it feels like I could wear this for a long period of time. I don't think the back is going to cause issues, but if it does, I'll let you know on Instagram or down below in the comments for sure, because uh, I do intend to wear these quite a bit as well. So those were the shoes. I have one more thing to show you. Okay, so this last item that you see here is the Sailor Moon Jimmy Choo music vinyl. It was only available in stores and only for a limited time. It was only given to people if you purchased a certain amount of money. A lot of people were trying to sell these on eBay and other places for like $400, even though they were given out for free. But I'm so grateful to be a part of this community because a really, really incredible Sailor Moon fan and somebody who I've befriended on Instagram uh, sent it to me and did didn't even ask for 50 bucks. That was such a kind thing to do. And it really shows like how strong our community can be when people are just like, no, you know, I had an extra one. Here you go. You can have it. Like they didn't, it just shows like sometimes you meet really good people in this community. And I always like to give back like that too, which is why I do a lot of giveaways. Let's go ahead and open this. Now, sadly, I do not currently have a vinyl player. <laughs> so it's like buying the rims of the car without the car. Oh my gosh, I really need a vinyl player though because I have a lot of vinyls now. For, somehow, for some reason or another, I ended up with like four this year. I don't know what happened, but I, I have like four vinyls this year. This is one of them. And then I have a Daft Punk one downstairs. So I do want to see what it looks like. Um, one of my friends has a vinyl record player, so I can check this out on her record player, but I also have a few online that I've seen and that I have been recommended. So I do have some options. Now I know that you have to take care of these pretty well, so I'm not gonna touch the insides of it. I don't wanna scratch it, but here you can see the vinyl. It's bright pink and it looks freaking awesome. This is so cool. So apparently there's a song that was made specifically for this collaboration by a couple of DJs, Sun and Moon, Honey Dijon and Yusu. 45 RPM side A. Uh, the back of it has this very cool gradient print. Check that print out. That's really pretty. And the front of it, of course, we have the Jimmy Choo logo since it was made specifically for the Jimmy Choo collab. So I'm excited to listen to that. I hope that it's a good song really interested to hear what it sounds like. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep this in storage while I, you know, budget for, for a vinyl record player now that I've, I apparently need one. I think the last time I actually had one in my house was when I was living at home in the 90s and my dad had one where he used to listen to a lot of Pink Floyd. So yeah, that's where my love of music comes from. I think that's everything for the Jimmy Choo collaboration. I really am so excited and so happy that this collaboration came out. It's not something that I ever expected that I would be interested in. And it's not something that I was very wowed by when I did purchase everything because most of the items were not necessarily my normal aesthetic. Uh, for example, the Sailor Moon shoes that they came out with to match with the Sailor Guardians were just not a thing that I could see myself ever wearing, except for like the Sailor Jupiter boots. I felt like those looked really cool. So I'm glad that I didn't go as hard as I maybe would have if I was interested in those shoes. And I just focused on one 
specific line that kind of matched all together so that I could actually use these things. And I focused on things that were usable, like the tennis shoes and the big tote bag, uh, which I've certainly used already. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. Leave your comments down below if there's anything that you want me to test out specifically from other collabs or if you have any thoughts on this collaboration yourself. Reminder, I will be doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers on this channel if I haven't reached there yet, but I'm not there at time of recording, so I'll go ahead and announce it now. If you don't follow me on Instagram, hit that up for really early access to, I do things like coupon codes, I post a lot of leaks over there, and I also post uh, merch news and a lot of behind the scenes information about what I've been posting here on YouTube and follow me over there on Instagram as well because I am doing a separate giveaway there since I hit 25,000 followers. That's crazy to me. That's like more engaged than my tech channel, which just hit 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. That's crazy to me too. I'm, I feel like 2023 is the year that I'm hitting all these wonderful and amazing milestones for my career as a content creator. And I'm so happy that you're here to experience it with me. I'll see you next time. Janai.